welcome to Coastal Georgia History. I'm Avery Brooks, your host from the coast. There are so many amazing places to explore here in Coastal Georgia. Today we are taking you to the beautiful Golden Isles to see three historic sites, Fort Frederica, Christ Church Frederica, and the Old Harrington Schoolhouse. Please join me, it's all coming up next. Welcome to Fort Frederica, an important historic site on St. Simons Island. Fort Frederica was established in 1736 by James Oglethorpe. Please stay tuned as we hear more about this important historic site. General Oglethorpe founded Fort Frederica to, in order to protect the southern boundary of his colony of Georgia from the Spanish. Colonists from England, Scotland, and Germanic states joined the effort. In 1742, Spanish and British forces battled right here on St. Simons Island. Fort Frederica's troops defeated the Spanish, securing Georgia's future as a British colony. Artifacts from the colony town have been preserved, and today the remnants at Fort Frederica are protected by the National Park Service. Fort Frederica, a significant part of our coastal Georgia history.
Welcome to Christ Church Frederica, one of the oldest churches in Georgia, founded nearly 70 years after the island was first settled by English colonists. Soon after James Oglethorpe arrived in 1736, the Reverend Charles Wesley began his ministry at Frederica. religious services were conducted from 1736 to 1766 by Charles Wesley, John Wesley, George Whitfield, and others. But it was not until after the Revolutionary War that Christ Church was founded in 1808. Christ Church Frederica is the second oldest Episcopal church in the Diocese of Georgia. Today the beautiful historic church is visited by thousands every year. But did you know that Christ Church has always remained and still is an active parish with regular Sunday services and activities? Christ Church Frederica, another important part of rich history here in coastal Georgia. Welcome to the Harrington Schoolhouse. This schoolhouse, built in the 1920s, was formerly known as the Graded Schoolhouse and served as the grade school for the three African-American communities on St. Simons Island. The Harrington Schoolhouse is the oldest educational structure on St. Simons Island. I want to lay down my bed on, down by, down by the riverside, down by, down by the riverside, down by, down by the riverside. The Harrington School was recently restored through a lengthy restoration process and now it serves as a museum for all locals and tourists. You will also find a park next door, perfect for long nature walks or just exploring. Harrington Schoolhouse, another piece of our coastal Georgia history. There are so many interesting historic sites right here in coastal Georgia. Stay tuned as we show you one more history segment. Last but not least, the Lighthouse.
The St. Simons Island Lighthouse is a magnificent structure that stands 104 feet tall, but it wasn't always that way. In fact, the original lighthouse tower was only 75 feet tall and was made of tabby, which is a local building material consisting of lime, water, sand, and oyster shells. The original structure was built by Mr. James Gould and was completed in 1810. Mr. Gould was officially appointed Keeper of the Light by President James Madison. James Gould was only paid a salary of $400 a year. However, Mr. Gould was very content and continued to serve as Lighthouse Keeper for 27 years. Unfortunately, the original lighthouse and keeper's dwelling were both destroyed by Confederate troops in 1862. After a while, plans began to develop for a new lighthouse. After the Civil War, noted architect Charles Kluski drew up plans for a new lighthouse and dwelling. Construction began on the new 104-foot tower but this project was not completed until 1872. In fact, the first light shone from the new tower on September 1st, 1872. The tower was opened to the public for climbing in 1984. Then in 2004, under the National Historic Preservation Act, ownership of the lighthouse and keeper's dwelling were officially transferred to the Coastal Georgia Historical Society. Today, the lighthouse is visited by thousands of people every year. The St. Simons Island Lighthouse, another fascinating part of our coastal Georgia history.